Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, hello everyone. Today I'm Muhammad Azam bin Amin, the leader of IBDIS Group. We present to you the uh, our project for UITM Oracle Data Hackathon 2021. Our project is uh, crowd detection in museums. To give you a clear idea of our problem statement, I would like to share a situation where Ali, a 33-year-old man, decided to go to a museum in Malacca with his family after the announcement of museum reopening by the government. However, the visitors are required to follow the SOP. As they arrive at the museum, they have difficulties when entering inside the museum. So the problems are there are a large number of crowds inside at one time. This would risk, uh, uh, risk them to get infected by the virus COVID-19. And also in order to um, visit the museum, the visitors have to queue and wait for their turn. This caused time wasting. And this situation also shows that the museum management does not have a proper management system on handling the visitors. So for the current solution for this problem is that the users or precisely the visitors or the tourists can search on um, Google for the peak hours. However, it has some limitation. Uh, it on a, uh, does not able to give a, pre a precise number of visitors at that particular time. And uh, the, uh, the museum management only able to count visitors by the number of tickets sold. So, so for our solution, our group solution is to count the, the visitors by using that recognition. And we also to show a real num real time number of visitors in the museum in the museums uh, we also uh, forecast the number of visitors for the following month and year why is better of course we able to know the real time number of the visitors inside the building and it helps to reduce the human workforce inside one buildings considering the pandemic. For the uh, website uh, demonstration and simulation, uh, you going, uh, when you click on the link, you will go to this website and log in as guest. And with the password A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here you can see the user interface for the public user. Uh, in this section, you can see the list of museums in Malacca. And there's a button of, of, for the information on the, uh, the ticket price. When you click on the button, we will go to uh, the website of uh, Persim. Here you can uh, see all the prices for adult and kids for every uh, museum. Okay, let's go back. And here is uh, for this section is the forecasting part. This is uh, the forecasting forecasted number of visitors for the following month in December 2015. And this one is the total number of visitors for the following years in 2000, 
20. This is the um, current data we have, which is uh, the number of visitors in 2015 from January to November. And this is uh, the total number of museum visitors in Malacca from 2010 until 2019. Okay, for this uh, particular section, uh, for now, it is empty. It is uh, nothing to be seen here as we assume that now is uh, now the museum is still closed. Uh, when this section shows the real time number of visitors in every museum. When the museum is open and the object recognition is running at museum, then the this section will show the number of a museum the museum visitors at that museum at the particular time. Okay. Now this is the feedback form where you can uh, give feedback for, uh, for your experience and um, some improvement perhaps what you like about this application and what you can like about this application. This is um, uh, about page and help page and then you can uh, sign up. Okay. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this uh, application and try to take a look of it after this week. Uh, uh, okay, that's the end of our uh, demonstration and simulation. So do you have any questions? I have a question for you. Okay. Uh, is this soft software something new or has it been done before by anyone? Uh, actually, uh, object detection is, um, is not new and prediction is not new. However, for our project, this, um, this, um, the, our problem solving to, uh, to detect crowd is um, quite new. Um, considering that um, we can detect and know the real time number of visitors uh, in the museum at that time. For, for we know uh, before we don't have uh, a real time data or number of visitors in um, a place. The only data that we can search in Google um, is that uh, the, the time that there would be uh, more um, visitors and time when it's less visitors at, at the museum. However, it's only prediction. It's not the real time. Um, data. Okay, any other questions? So you are saying that uh, the software is not new, but it has not been used yet in Malaysia? Something like that? I say what? Uh, uh, you said that um, the software is not something new, um, but it has not been used yet in our country? Um, in our country, uh, for it, uh, this is a smart city innovation and using um, object detection or human detection, is, uh, I believe that it's not being used yet. However, for uh, our country right now, it's using um, sensor, which is an uh, internet of things. Uh, to uh, which is integrated in um, in uh, smart city environment.
Okay, thank you for answering. Welcome. Any other questions? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, let's say this software are uh, are apply or already being used in our world, and about that uh, real time, uh, the concept of real time. Let's say that in Museum Rakyat there is three people right now. So does it mean that right now, tonight there is three people in the museum, the real time? Okay. Uh, for our session tonight, uh, it is a not um, a real implementation of this project. It is only a simulation or a demonstration. So for this session, I use um, a video, a video clip um, of people entering and exiting from a place. It's not, uh, it's not a uh, the real um, people entering um, and exiting the museum right now. Okay. However, if uh, this project is implemented in real life, okay, uh, the, the current data, the current number of visitors in the museum is the real time, is the real uh, number of that particular time. Um, my next question is, um, um, is this a uh, kind of software has, uh, I mean like, if, is there any risk? Because uh, imagine if, if this software is implemented in the real world, then um we can track so many people in uh from uh many museum right so will this software like having a uh, sum of crash or lag because too many people at it entered the museum at one time do you get what i mean ah uh, yes yes i do okay uh this is um for um uh, for this project um, there's, uh, of course, there are some um, limitations. However, there's, uh, we can uh, do uh, a few uh, more uh, future improvement on the algorithm of uh, object detection so that it will, uh, the accuracy of um, human detecting and tracking is high. And also, um, in a real implementation of every uh, system or every software, uh, there are always a, a, a frequent number of uh, maintenance so that uh, the system is working uh, well. All right, thank you. Welcome. Okay, any other questions? No question. Okay, if there's no uh, no more question, you may um, answer the feedback forms. Okay.